and the United States wanted to uh, make it clear that our space program uh, was a civil effort and scientific effort. President Eisenhower was, was concerned that you know, our efforts in space exploration and research would be consolidated and made more effective. NSAA is to become part of a new agency, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. You can be justly proud of the fact that your past achievements have made NACA the choice of all governmental agencies out of which to build the new agency. The NACA starts taking a look at particularly high-speed flight as part of aeronautics, but that quickly blends into space research. They start using rockets to do high-speed research on airplanes and then eventually on re-entry vehicles. The NACA is really sort of this repository of you know, aerospace scientific skill and also aerospace geekdom as well, I suppose, to some extent. Uh, you know, people were very interested in, in flight and, uh, of course, naturally space as well. So that sort of sets them up to become the core of NASA. So the transition between the two organizations was like seamless in that sense. The technicians were superb. The people that you had mentoring you were just superb. So with the early days, then the attitude was still, let's get the job done. NASA must be like NACA in the qualities of strength and character that make an organization great.